Well, obviously, we've had a, a long-standing relationship in the Philippines, last 11 years. Uh, COVID obviously affected a lot of it. So we're talking about uh, rebuilding and growing now. Uh, over the last uh, two years, uh, AirAsia has now expanded into a new company called Capital A, and we have many more opportunities to invest in the Philippines. And um, on top of aviation, we have a super app now, which could bring many tourists into the Philippines. Uh, logistics is a big topic I'd like to discuss with the president. Uh, we have a company called Teleport. And then aviation services. So generally about bringing more to the Philippine economy, investing more. Uh, and I want to tell my colleagues, my Malaysian business colleagues, what a great uh, story I've had. And, uh, you know, the whole feel when I went to Manila recently is a positive feel. And I think uh, kudos to President Marcos for uh, being so open, transparent and uh, putting his people first. Yeah, well, well, Philippines has so much going for it. Number one, a population of over 100 million people. That's pretty good. A country that sits on the border of three big economies, China, Japan, Korea, and um, a highly educated workforce, uh, and a beautiful country. Philippines must be probably the best kept secret in ASEAN. And uh, our job is to uh, tell the world that Philippines is open and uh, we want to bring more people to the Philippines and also to create more jobs and indirect jobs through our investment. Um, you know, we have live experience of how the Philippine government has operated. Philippines is the first country to allow us to own 100% of an airline, which is very far forward thinking. And so uh, we're very excited about that.